and that's uh, you know that's one thing we preach. It's a staple of our program. I think we got a lot of young guys in there tonight that kind of got their feet wet. Um, you know, Zaid Walker is a is a talented kid. Uh, you know, Peter on with a hit tonight as a as a freshman. I thought Mr. Ansky threw really well. Uh, Mike Machma threw well. I think a lot of guys really threw well. Um, so yeah, I think there's a lot of positives we can take away. Um, you know, again, it's practice number two for us, and so um, you know, I, could, I would expect us to be a little bit rusty. And uh, uh, but you know, great experience, and um, as always, and you know, a lot of thanks to uh, to Nick and Tom Dixon, and uh, you know, the entire Lugnuts organization because uh, uh, it's always a um, you know, it's always one of the, the best nights of the year for us. Is this a game that you tell your players to have a little fun with, or is this something to take seriously? Well, both, you know. I mean, I think it's fun when you play the game hard and you play the game the right way. It's certainly, you know, nothing that we're going to come out here and joke around with. I mean, we always want to go out and win. Um, you know, at the same time, you know, I don't think we feel a whole lot of pressure to go out and win or anything like that. But, you know, when you when the competitive juices get, get flowing, uh, you know, you always want to win the ball game. And, I'm, you know, those guys are the same way. So, but just, again, very pleased with how hard our guys played and gives our, gave ourselves a chance in the, in the uh, top of the seventh. Coach Andrew Morrow, home run derby, middle of the order hitter. What do you expect the player to be come the season? Well, we'll see. I mean, it's early. You know, he had a, you know, he was a very good junior college player for us. Uh, you know, hit for average and power, and uh, you know, we like for him to, to hit for some power. Uh, and I think it's certainly in there. Um, you know, but this is, uh, we had one three inning inner squad uh, last Saturday, and then we played tonight. So we got a long way to go, but you know, he's certainly a talented kid that uh, you know we're hoping will be able to hit in the middle of the order for us. Uh, Zaid Williams, Chris Payton, uh, or, yeah, Zaid, uh, Chris Payton, the home run derby, and uh, kind of for all four of the runs tonight, how big of a part do you think he's going to be going in next season? Yeah, season? he's a dynamic player, you know, I mean, he was, uh, you know, either the Cincinnati Reds drafted him out of high school, and we weren't sure if we were going to get him or lose him to pro ball, and I certainly am glad he's here, uh, but he's big, strong, athletic, uh, you know, he runs well, he's, uh, you know, he's still a little raw, he's got some work to do. Uh, defensively, we saw that a little bit tonight, but you know, the tools are certainly there, and he's going to be a fun one to uh, to have around for a couple years, and uh, you know, get a chance to to work with him every day and and uh, watch his career uh, progress because he is an awfully athletic kid who, like I said, has got a bright future out of him. And uh, talk about Adam Proctor defending his title of the, for the home run derby. That was kind of cool. Yeah, great for uh, you know Adam I, again, a local guy, so he had plenty of friends and family here, but. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of fun for him to, to come out and defend that title, and it was a dog fight for sure. I think, uh, you know, I, I'm sure he's going to sleep pretty well tonight. But, uh, you know, again, I think it goes to the whole atmosphere of the night. Uh, and, you know, this is something that, again, we used to recruit to. I think it's something that guys talk about uh, for a long, long time to come. I mean, you know, our first year here was uh, 11 years ago now, and those guys on that first team still talk about playing in the Crosstown Showdown. And so, you know, this is a highlight of the year for them, and uh, uh, I just can't thank the, uh, the Lugnuts and the Blue Jays enough for allowing it to happen.